Hey, what's going on guys? IO Studios here for the tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a cloth simulation in Cinema 4D. So let's get started. First, let's add in a sphere. And let me just add that in there. We'll set the segments to 48. And uh, also we're going to give this the tag. Uh, simulation tags cloth collider. Okay, also uh, we're going to add in a plane. Set the orientation to the minus. Or negative Z, whatever you want to call it. Move that there. Yeah, just like that. Good, good, good. I'm actually going to select both of these and just move them up a bit. Okay, next we're going to grab this and we're just going to set that to 5,000. Let's see. There we go. Good, good, good. Just like so. Uh, also, we're going to hit the plane. Once we've got it selected, go to simulate. Cloth, cloth surface, drag the plane under there. Also, in the plane, you want to grab the width segments to 40, or set those to 40, sorry. Set the height segments to 40 as well, and make the object editable. It's a good amount of polygons. Um, also, the plane, you want to give it the tag, um, simulation tags, and cloth. Alright. Uh, the next thing we want to do, forces, we're going to set the wind direction Z to 500 millimeters and we're going to set the wind strength to two and set the gravity to zero let's see here yeah that, that, that works okay but what we're going to do instead is we're going to change some stuff so we're going to head to the actual plane the cloth itself stiffness uh rubber do we want it rubbery do we want it bouncy Flexation. I want it to be really flexible. So I'm going to set that to 80%. Let's see here. How does this look? A bit more like cloth, yeah. Um, I'll actually bring up the flexation to 90. And the bounciness, we'll bring that to 20. Let's see, how does this look? Yeah, that's okay. Also, we're going to bring up the frames to, I uh, will bring that to 240. So let's see, how does this look? I like it, but we're gonna, we need a stronger wind. Much stronger wind will make it look a lot better. So we're going to bring the, we're going to set the forces. Uh, we're going to grab the, okay, is the plane here? Yeah, forces, and we're going to bring the wind strength to 8. Let's see, this may be too much, but yeah, it's way too much. Okay. So bring it up to four, maybe. Do that. How does this look? Maybe a bit too powerful. We'll set it to three. I think that's okay. And, you know, as I said, you know, you, you guys can tweak this as well. You know, you don't need to exactly follow my tutorial. You can tweak this as much as you want. Now, the cloth material. Uh, we're just going to make a new material, and I've got a cloth texture, which I will just open up right now. I believe it's on my desktop, and I'm going to use this one. There we go. So we've got that there. I'm probably going to get rid of the reflectance, because I don't think cloth is reflective. Um, it's very weird cloth if it is. There we go. How does that look? I'm rendering, oops, not rendering it in the wrong right tab. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Now, we're going to set up some lighting. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up... Well, we could use a sky. No, we're just going to use a sky. And, yeah, we'll just apply sky material. That'll kind of help us. Let's see, how does that look? Oh, running it in the wrong... I'm rendering it in the wrong tab again. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. That looks a bit better. Now, we're going to do... Actually, no. You know what? We're going to make a new material, and we're going to make it completely black. We're going to apply that to the sky. We just want a completely dark background. And we're going to also grab, okay, so we're going to grab a, no, we're going to make a softbox, all right? We're just going to make a quick softbox. It's going to be really simple, so it's going to be, you know, grab a new, go plane, scale it up, rotate it, etc., etc. Let's go and check, actually. Yeah, good, good. Okay. I'm going to grab this one. Yeah, so we're just going to scale it up a bit, move it into position. I made a tutorial on softbox lighting if you guys want to check that out as well. But uh, we'll make a new material and basic enable uh, luminance. Go to luminance and actually no, we'll leave that like it is. 
go to elimination. Set the strength to, we'll set it to 250. And GI area light. And we're going to apply that to our softbox material thing. Put that there. Good, good, good. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, actually, we're going to have to go, well, first we're going to add a camera. Then we're going to go and tweak the render settings. And then, um, oh, you know what? I need to zoom out here. I need to move this back slightly. There we go. Let's move that in so it's in a good place to see. There we go. Good, good. And just add in a new camera. Now, go to your render settings, and I know you guys can't see this tab, so I'll just kind of tell you guys what to do. So go to the output, it's the width to 1920, and the height to 1080. Also, uh, go to effect, ambient occlusion, effect, global illumination, and primary method, irradiance cache, secondary method, light mapping. In the light mapping thing there, set it to, or under the light mapping thing, set under secondary method, set the maximum depth to 32. Also in the sample, set the sample count to custom samples, and also the sample count to one. Well, we'll keep it. At, we'll set the samples to sixty-four. But um, alternatively, if you guys are rendering this as your final render, you probably want to bring up the sample count a bit, um, or or you can bring it down depending on how powerful your PC is. I also set the smoothing to sixty percent under Iridian's cache and the color refinement to ninety percent under Iridian's cache. Also, you're going to set your renderer to physical for the best results. Also on the physical, the sampling quality to high, and the advanced and under advanced in the physical section, uh, set the ray tracing engine from Embry to physical, and I believe we are done. That's about it. Yeah, that's about it. So now we will go ahead and just render away. Now I know this will take a long time, a long time to render. Oh, well, maybe not. I was expecting that to take a longer time to render than it really did. Huh. Anyway, um, you can see here, and, and if you want, you know, the full animation of the, the cloth, you're going to have to render all the frames, but I can't render all the frames on uh, on this video, um, as you can probably understand why, because that would take um, absolutely forever. Actually, we're going to tweak this material a bit. We're just going to bring down the segments to 50... Or the length, I mean. 50. Yeah, just like that. Uh, and you guys can see here. We have made a cloth material. And uh, it, it's decent. And yeah, you guys can tweak uh, in the plane there. You can tweak that cloth tag as much as you want to. Um, and you, So you can get you know the best results. Whatever kind of results you're looking for. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, of course, leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys later. Bye.